All right, so let's talk about preparing to become an attorney, specifically in the undergraduate degree. Um, there are going to be about five steps to preparing for law school. First and foremost, definitely very important, is interning at a law-related internship. Uh, this does not necessarily mean that you have to work at a law office. It can be law school related or it can be in a courtroom, but you do need to show that you have some experience that is law related, especially in the drive of an internship. Um, working towards leadership experience, this kind of goes hand in hand with your internship, but specifically law schools want to be able to see that you can step up, you can take the reins, that you're organized, that you're able to lead a group of other people, which is very important, especially in law offices. Um, you've got a whole team working underneath you and everything. So. Um, they also want to see that you can maintain a high GPA. They're specifically, I read on multiple sites, that they want you to have a high GPA with a difficult course load. Um, so if you're having classes that are just applicably difficult, that's great. But if you're taking relatively simple classes, you might want to up your course load to reflect that so that your GPA has more weight in the eyes of a law school. Um, LSAT. So the LSAT is the test that you take to get into law school. They really want to see a good score on this. This is heavily weighted along with your GPA. There are some very specific testing strategies for this. So, you know, maybe, maybe for me, I've bought some LSAT books and I've also been doing some prep courses. Um, and then joining a pre-law extracurricular activity. I personally have joined the um, UVU Pre-Law Association. They have some great resources. We've been doing some LSAT prep as a group. They have some networking activities. It's really, really gone well for me. Um, and regarding the leadership experience, circling back, um, I've been doing some leadership experience through the National Society of Leadership and Success. They're nationally accredited, which definitely makes law schools very happy. They like to see nationally accredited things. So why did I list the internship first? Why is it so important? I feel like Learman et al. really covered it very well in their study, um, especially for women. Internships are huge for either graduate school or for working post undergraduate. Either way, it can just be so helpful to getting you that extra step up in the workforce. I also read an article by Allison Monahan on thebalancecareers.com. She discussed a lot of the same things that I've already gone over, you know, preparing for the LSAT, getting involved, but she really focused on how important it is to build relationships, especially with your professors, because you'll need those letters of recommendation from your professors in order to even apply to law school. And lastly, state of mind. I mean, this is huge uh, for me personally. I struggle with perfectionism. I have to remind myself all the time that just because I didn't do it perfectly doesn't mean that it wasn't good enough. And the importance of maintaining a good peace of mind and not getting down, especially in these COVID times, is just huge. Happiness now is way more important than you're sacrificing your happiness for the future because if you can't be happy now, now you won't find it in the future. And here's my citations page. You know, Liz Learman and Allison Monahan we've kind of covered already, and then the bottom ones are just my photo credits.